So, hello everyone. We're continuing the program here in this room. This is the hack room and hack stage. Um, yeah, you see it's already like the tables are more distributed. Uh, we're trying to create a, a creative atmosphere here. We have some beanbags also. Where are the beanbags? Are they there? Yeah, there's some beanbags, uh, some lights. So um, the goal is really to have a nice hackathon here in this uh, space. Some catering here for the site is also coming. So we're creating here the hackathon environment. Yeah, and um, but uh, many people are here and they also want to know actually more about the background of the hackathon. So there are some requirements, there are some goals that we want to achieve. Uh, and you are asking like, oh, I, I read so many things, so much information. What is the most relevant? Uh, what can I do with it? And what happens if I don't win? Of course, you always gain your knowledge, you always gain more. But you can even, for example, participate in other programs with your hack and continue hacking it and see maybe uh, what good things you can do with it. So we have a few presentations here today with you. Misako will start first, then we have Andrea, and then we have like more information, who are the mentors and so on, and we're getting started now. So thank you very much for joining us. I know more people will be joining uh, over the evening who come from school and so on, but we already have a lot of people here. So let's get started. Thank you very much, and welcome Misako Ito from the UNESCO Bangkok office. Thank you. Thank you, Mario and uh, Han Fook and the Force Asia for providing an, again this uh, opportunity for UNESCO to organize with you the hackathon. So uh, this year we are celebrating within the United Nations the International Year of Indigenous Languages. So the topic that uh, we have chosen for this year is Hack the Future, Preserving Indigenous Languages Through Free and Open Source Software. So let me give you a little bit of uh, background. Um, I know that some of you already attended the debate, so you are familiar, but I just want to share with you about a few words about UNESCO, why we are engaged in this community with a uh, uh, free and open source uh, community. So UNESCO is a United Nations agency which was established in 1945 after the Second World War, with a very, very beautiful mandate to create peace in the mind of men and women uh, through uh, education, science, culture, and communications. And we have a very strong mandate for promoting cultural and linguistic diversity, and for, prom for also for promoting access to, um, to information, open access to information, and. So on. So this is why we have been uh, working with uh, Force Asia for already several years uh, to support the community, but also to work together to organize uh, this kind of activities. Um, just to give you some uh, figures and facts about indigenous languages. So we have in the world uh, over 6,700 spoken languages. And half of them are in dangers. According to UNESCO, we estimate that 90% of those languages could not survive by the end of the 21st centuries. And every two weeks, we have a languages that disappear from the world. And together with these languages, uh, it, the culture, the perception of the world, and the identity of those people who speak the languages also disappear. So this is a very, very important concern for UNESCO, and that's why we are, um, we are, we are, we we have launched this year to engage uh, everyone in the world to think about the, the importance of protecting those uh, minority languages because those languages that disappear, most of them, they are indigenous languages. So uh, the objective of, uh, of this year uh, is to remind us that indigenous languages are the languages of our world, our time. Uh, they are spoken by over uh, 370 million people in the world in uh, almost 19 countries, and they should be safeguarding for cultural diversity. 
And we also, uh, through this year, we also encourage knowledge sharing and development of language resources and technologies. And this is why we are here for this hackathon. So some of the examples that we put um, uh, together with Force Asia in the, uh, in the announcement of type of outcomes, applications that uh, you can develop in relation to indigenous languages could be um, localization, geolocalization, internationalization, and multi-language search features of existing software, uh, implementation of new skills in different languages in voice application and smart speakers, solutions app or skill to increase cooperation around indigenous languages, uh, app for learning or reading in indigenous languages, uh, implementing translation tool, groceries, e-dictionaries in a personal assistant, solution for providing greater access to scientific applications in indigenous languages, app and experiment for promoting scientific knowledge in indigenous languages using different media, images, voice, audio, etc., and games solving questions and challenges related to languages, indigenous topics, and cultures. So there will be uh, mentors during the hackathon who will be here to assist you in uh, explaining uh, better than me all these uh, outcomes. We also have, uh, we have uh, the honor to have uh, seven indigenous participants who have joined this hackathon. Um, please, I, I will call you one by one. Please uh, stand up and could you please introduce yourself just to tell uh, very briefly your background so that uh, the hackers can also team up with you. Okay, so uh, Samin, Samin is uh, from uh, Sorry, there is a mistake. <laughs> Samin is from Cambodia. Yes, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Samin Ngai, and I'm a Punong indigenous. And I'm nowadays president of Cambodia Indigenous Jewish Association. Actually, um, I'm happy to be part of this event. It is also my first time to join this event as well. And also thank you to UNESCO and uh, provide me an opportunity to join this event. And happy to share the indigenous language and how it will be uh, uh, useful and important for the young generation. Yes, thank you. Thank yeah. you. The next one is uh, Su Mong from Myanmar. Hello, nice to meet you all. I'm Su Mong. Uh, I'm from one of the ethnic Americanists from Myanmar. Now I'm working in Sudan and you Congress, but we are most most of our youth, most are indigenous youth, uh, for for indigenous community, especially education and promotion. Um, for us, uh, our indigenous language is very important, especially remote area. That's why, as for me, I represent for my uh, ethnic. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Down from uh, Laos. Hi everybody, my name is Dawn from Laos and I'm working with uh, indigenous youth in Laos. So we focus on food security and also the change of rivers where the indigenous base. Thank you. Thank you. Orani from Thailand. Uh, good afternoon, my name is Orani Jariyam Phutngam. I come from Thailand and I work at Foundation for Applied Linguistics. We provide uh, Multilingual, um, mother tongue based multilingual education from uh, indigenous people, indigenous students in the remote area. Thank you. Thank you. Then uh, Phnom from Thailand again. Sorry, crap. Good, uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Phnom Tano. I belong to Korean indigenous group. Uh, from Chiang Mai, northern part of Thailand. I work with the network of uh, indigenous children and youth network in Thailand, and some part I've also worked with the uh, indigenous media network. So focus in uh, promotion, uh, the use of indigenous languages. Looking forward to interact more with you guys. Nice to meet you. Then we have La from Laos. <laughs> uh, yeah. 
Um, I'm La from Laos, very easy to remember. <laughs> uh, now I'm doing my own social entrepreneurship with, with uh, women minority that we will celebrate the uh, minority culture and promote um, art. Yes. Thank you. And finally, we have Fuji from Myanmar. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Fuji. Uh, my long name is Fuji Nong. So I belong to a Kachin community from Myanmar, northern part of Myanmar. Uh, currently, uh, I'm working at the uh, Asia Indigenous People Pack, AIPP, based in Chiang Mai, Thailand. So here I came, I'm not actually a youth anymore, but uh, our uh, organization, our program is working on the youth capacity building. So uh, here I am uh, coming here with you all. So thank you very much. Thank you. So Hon Fook will be presenting the rules of the hackathon, but please, uh, when you will be building your team, please team up with, uh, with them. And uh, finally, uh, I would like to introduce uh, Matura, who is uh, the language expert, and he will be part of uh, the jury, the hackathon jury. Uh, <coughs> this is uh, Matura Vikas Tripura from Bangladesh. Uh, I also, uh, actually work on the uh, rights of indigenous people's languages in our country and uh, presently I'm uh, holding the convener of uh, committee for celebrating the indigenous uh, international years for in, year for indigenous peoples uh, indigenous languages 2019 thank you okay thank you very much so um See you um, at the UNESCO booth uh, for over the next days. We have a special office hour tomorrow morning from 11.30, from 10.30 to 11.30. And uh, uh, please uh, don't forget to tweet about these activities using uh, indigenous languages, hashtag we are indigenous and hashtag Force Asia. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much, Misako.